Hey guys, Dan here. The hair. Hey guys, Dan here. Today we're going to install the Z-Ring onto the Fnatic DD2 shaft to reduce play in the quick release. Uh, we did this live on stream, so it's basically just an excerpt of the, of the stream that I cut into pieces, but I wanted to say a few things before. Because I'm sure I will get comments like, why why do you put a quick release onto a quick release? So we used the Podium Hub, and on top of that I mounted the uh, Xero Play quick release. But this this is basically just a shaft extension, so I can use all my wheels on one Podium Hub. I don't want to buy like 2,000 of these, you know. And it definitely doesn't help with the play, I have to admit that, um, since the the whole... The whole shaft will be longer and with a lever you know more play because longer shaft but nevertheless on the simocube 2 i have a very similar setup as you can see here this is the simocube quick release and on top we have the zero play and in this setup there's basically there's zero play in the system maybe a little bit from the rig and i had a lot of play with the podium hub but a uh, little little spoiler the zeroing helps a lot but just just watch the video if you like the video make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll leave the links to the website where you can download the files to 3D print your own Z-Ring or to buy it in the description below. And yeah, have fun with the video. Look at this. I don't, I don't know if it's if it's only because of the, the quick release on the quick release, but just look at this. But this this is a stiff connection here. It's it's the the podium hub. See? I'm <sighs> Screw is in there, the, the nut is tightened as crazy. Oh, Rick is flexing? No, I mean the Rick is flexing a little bit, but uh, it's mainly mainly the podium hub. Let's go to the to the shaft cam. Um Oh god, I have to remove the fucking screw. It's so tight now, I think I cannot remove it properly. I need a, a tool or something. Oh no. There we go. Quick, quick release with a screw. Any further questions? Slow release. Yes. Also, hit the follow button, guys. Can we maybe get the 20k till the end of the stream? Smash that button. Oh, God, this quick release, I swear to God, it's just a shitty design. It's it's just shit. This quick release design is shit. There, I said it. The famous pins that always get lost. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for watching this so much that you can redeem do nothing. Okay, then you can remove this shaft here. There are two cables. A bit, I don't know, I don't... It's, it feels... Weird. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it works just fine. I mean, the quick release is not good. We don't have to argue about that. But this feels... Uh, okay, now we have this part here. And apparently if you remove... Nice. If you remove... Um, these two parts here, because this is... This is the rubber that gets compressed when you, when you tighten the screw here. So basically what happens is you, you squish you squish the rubber <laughs> and then the uh, the rubber gets like expands the, the radius gets bigger. Does that make sense? See? Fat rubber and this is how it stabilizes um, the wheel on the quick release and because it's rubber it, it will never be really solid. So the Z-Ring replaces these two parts, but I printed one and didn't help at all for me. 
But let's see if maybe this PET gym um, material is better. So this, let's see, it's a bit fun. And then this gets tightened with the uh, with the nut. Metal held down by flexing rub. Yeah, I mean, the, the quick release is not a good design. I think nobody will disagree with that. There might be some, some in the wild where it works fine, but I think most people experienced flex in the QR. Nice. So then you reconnect the cables. I doubt it will help, but... And then you, you t twist the cables weirdly till they disappear in the shaft. It's... Yeah. Okay, shaft is in there and then you all you need to do is tighten this. How do you call this thing? Nut collar. Thanks. I'm I'm no Barry. I don't know these words. <laughs> I'm an electrical engineer. I'm not a mechanical engineer. I just know resistors. That's it. Three to go. Oh come on, two to go. Hey, two to go. Come on, we can do it. One. Who will be twenty thousand? We won't find out because I'm not showing it. 20,000, there we go, holy moly, everybody can unfollow now. <laughs> oh my god, man, Meng. Hey, 20,000, thank, thank you so much, everyone. Getting a little sentimental here. Something that started like with, hmm, I was watching streams and I was like, I think I can do this better. <laughs> that's that's, that's what, what my initial motivation was. I mean, I'm always trying to like, you know, take the whole streaming thing to a higher level something like production quality is, is important for me as you can probably tell and yeah i watched a few streamers i thought let's try if i can maybe do that as well and that's how the, how the whole thing started i was like okay let's do two three streams and see and then i had i had fun with the interaction with the chat i mean i i got lucky i uh you blew <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, being in a niche helps, Mark. Like in the sim racing niche. <clears throat> but yeah, being in a, having an awesome community, you guys, I, I really appreciate every one of you. Thanks again for the gifted subs and bits and everything. I really, really appreciate it. Where, where did I put my shaft extension? Uh, there it is. Um, I watch other content. But yeah, really happy to be part of. Oh, I think it's actually better. Let's add the uh, slow release. Let's add the slow release crew as well. Now Dan switches to YouTube streaming. No, that's not gonna happen. Tighten the QR. I mean, this is now a, a ABS. ABS, it's not a ru rubber ring, rub rubber ring anymore. It's uh, not, no, it's not ABS. PETG. But I th actually, maybe because I don't have the wheel on. How how does this go on? I swear to God, this quick race. Who makes the digital display exclamation mark dash? Or do you mean the display manufactures a vocor display? It's better, it's much better. There's still there's still it's it's still not comparable to like 
a Xero Play or the Simocube quick release, but it's much better. I would say it's like half. Interesting. Yeah. And I think the screw doesn't do anything. I mean, we still have... Yeah, it's much better. It doesn't... I think now I just have like, flex from the rig here. Very, very minimal play uh, from the podium hop now. So if you have a Fnatic uh, base, get the Z-Ring. It is... Uh, what, do, what do you think of that? You need something like that? I don't know what... <laughs> Does the base still work? This uh, this power switch on the on the quick release button is pretty cool. I gotta say, I don't know why it's always doing this. Is that normal? Is it supposed to do this weird stuff? Yes. Okay. So yeah, I can. I I, I would def. It's dancing again. Uh, I can definitely recommend one of those Z rings. It should not void the warranty. I mean, just don't do it on stream. Then nobody will find out. Um, you can also buy it. I don't know where. I just printed my own. Z-Ring. Uh, yeah, you can you can print it. I used PETG. I used I used PLA plus. It didn't help at all. But this PETG version actually definitely reduced the flags it's it's like still a little bit there but not as bad as all use the sim racing bay wheelside qr maybe 